Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jeff, uh, Glowing Double O Cabbage, back for another video. In this uh, installment, I'm going to be answering the 200 Souls uh, contest. Congratulations, uh, Jim and the Misses, on your 200 subscribers. I'm sure you're probably up to 300 by now. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to answer this. It's, it's a great, uh, it's a great thing. You guys are, are uh, amazing to have in the vinyl community. Really nice people. Um, in the background, we're listening to uh, Guy Van Duser, really amazing finger pick picking guitar player. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I just picked this up for. Well, I guess you can see. 75, <coughs> excuse me, 75 cents. <coughs> it's an excellent, this is fair, but it's honestly an excellent, an excellent condition. Okay, so I looked and looked for a, uh, uh, <coughs> an actual soundtrack for uh, this video. No dice, I just couldn't find anything. I thought about, you know, putting up the, the Godfather, but it's not really, it's not really me. I'm a hard ass, but not quite that of a hard ass. Um, so I just decided, well, you know, what really kind of steered me into different musical directions? And some people out there may be surprised by this, but it was the doors. <clears throat> you see, my father was uh, always stuck in the 60s. And when I was growing up, you always heard either The Doors, The Animals, Johnny Winter, um, uh, who else? Uh, Vanilla Fudge. A lot of really cool psych blues based music. <clears throat> and uh, I got really, I was heavy, heavy, heavy into The Doors. I'm surprisingly not as much anymore. I think it's probably because their music is seriously just ingrained in my head. I have the same problem with The Beatles. Like, I have a hard time really immersing myself in the Beatles because I feel like I just know their music like it's in my head you know you hear please please me or uh, I don't know I want to hold your hand or anything really and you know almost every nuance of that music and that's the way it is with the doors but um, this is the soundtrack I guess from my early life that made me move into different musical directions so I would have to say The Doors, not this particular album, this is the first one I found. I only have a couple. I have the first one and this one. I don't even think I have L.A. Woman, but uh, that's my favorite actually. L.A. Woman and Morrison Hotel are two of the best by The Doors, if you ask me. Um, but, uh, you know, tracks like Break On Through, Strange Days, I mean, Love Her Madly. This is just a, uh, just, this is a great compendium for someone who wants to start listening to The Doors, like anybody hasn't heard them, but uh, <clears throat> they are really quite uh, an impressive music-based uh, band, actually. If you take Jim Morrison right out of the equation, um, but he was he was a large portion of The Doors, let's be honest. Um, but, um, you know, John Densmore's uh, drumming, jazz-like drumming, man, just, just incredible stuff, so... I would have to say this would be one of the soundtrack albums of my life. A great idea, guys. Um, there's the inside. There's the there's the boys there. And there's the uh, oh look. I think I see the lizard king. <laughs> oh, I probably did that all before. I can't tell where I am on this camera. But there you go. So here's some many more subs, guys. Take it easy.